So I'm back laying and um, I've been kind of, I've been laying in bed for hours. I think I just hit a level of exhaustion where I'm so tired. I um I can't quite fall asleep. I'm so tired I can't get up and do anything more. Um, I brought everything from the uh, artist residency studio home. It's piled up kind of in the other room. I needed to come home and start the window. Um, I'm doing a window for Brooklyn Boutique for Chalk Fest. I need, I have the components in this room, in my bedroom. I'm so tired though, I can't. Ugh. So we'll start tomorrow. But in the meantime, in the meantime, I haven't really said anything on social media because I don't know what to say or on Facebook, Instagram. Let's not be silly. Um, I haven't really said anything on Facebook or uh, God, I'm so old. Uh, Facebook or Instagram because I don't know what to say. My friend Greg Cruz set up that, set up a GoFundMe so I could get to Georgia because I was really, really, really despondent. And I didn't, uh, only a couple people knew how extremely upset I was. Just disappointed, despondent, ashamed, um, and feeling like an utter failure. Only a couple people really knew. And so I posted something on Facebook. I'm not even sure what. <sighs> About not being sure I, I could go to Georgia, to the to the art, artist residency I have in Georgia. Because I do have a lot of people who are following me. Follow, following me because they've invested in me. And... Um, in one way or another. And I needed people, just needed to say, look at this might not happen. So I posted that at like 5.30 in the morning the other day after getting zero sleep. Took a Benadryl, went to bed, went back to bed, slept for about three and a half hours and woke up to my phone buzzing where I learned uh, my friend Greg had set up a GoFundMe account, which was um, incredibly kind. Um, incredibly kind. I honestly, I, I, that type of thing had never occurred to me. I had just given up. I had literally given up. I've had so many projects here follow fall apart so many dreams of dreams over the years and things I planned for fall apart that I never I really never expected anybody anyone anyone to care just like oh so sorry thoughts and prayers you know and instead he set up this GoFundMe account and I, I was like okay that's nice Greg and he set he set a minimum a goal a goal to meet and we have not just met it we have exceeded it and i'm so grateful i'm so grateful people have responded Because this artist residency isn't just about me. Although I haven't left the state in eight years. I, I haven't had a vacation in, I'm trying to remember, 18, I think. 
I took a weekend, I think 18 years ago. But really all I've ever done is work, 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 work. And uh, here as an artist for the past couple of years, especially it's been work, 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 nonstop. And then panic. And then work, 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 work. So um, I haven't left the state in eight years. I miss leaving places. So that part is about me and about getting rejuvenated and rethinking the work that I do. But it's also bringing value back to Sarasota. The The artist residency will give, um, a, a, will, will um, help give the artists, the art community, a little bit more leverage. Like if one, if one gets a little bit further, then you know, it's a, it's a pebble, it's a pebble. And so that can have ripple effects to help lift other people. And so that's what I'm looking at with my big fat saggy face in bed, laying in bed. I'm, too, I'm just too tired to even sit up. I am so deeply, deeply grateful. So Greg and I were talking today about rental vehicles, which was going to be the bulk of uh, the financial burden here, because I own a scooter. I don't, I don't own a car, um, and so we're, I was looking for months. I was going through rental agencies and trying to find the best vehicle for the best price with the best mileage, and. You know, I had already gone to my local U-Haul where nothing should be different, but it is. And uh, then this week, I was kind of, I had to use, I had to rent a a U-Haul. A, a I had to rent a, a van or a truck. And my problem is I don't own a credit card. And I won't own a credit card. So I rely on my debit cards. If you don't have it, you can't spend it. So my local U-Haul, who I've been using for years since I moved here, they don't take debit cards anymore. And this was part of the problem, um, that they don't take debit cards anymore. Um, and it was part of the problem, not just with U-Haul, but with Enterprise Budget, Avis, all of them. They're taking credit cards only. but. Regardless, I just kept looking at prices and looking at everything. And then this week I had to rent a U-Haul. So I went to a uh, less classy U-Haul. Let's put it that way. It's a pretty tired looking place. And I thought, well, we'll give this a try. This place a try. Because I've also heard it can change. Not within the company, but um, from location to location. So I went to this one U-Haul. They take debit cards. Use the deb use the U-Haul. Uh, brought it back, and I said, "Hey, old man, who's grouchier than me, and <laughs> has been driven to a pointed, a pointed stick of bitterness. Um, can you price out me using a U-Haul for thirty uh, whatever thirty eight days or thirty four whatever days it is?" And he did, and it actually works out to be four hundred to eight hundred dollars less than anybody else. And I get a van, a small van. I get everything I want and on a debit card, so it's worked out perfectly. Now Friday, uh, Friday evening, and Sunday night, I never thought I'd be able to think about this because. Uh, I just didn't have the money. Sales have, sales were horrible. Um, not horrible. Sales, I didn't meet my financial goals in the artist residency slash gallery thing. Didn't meet, meet my, my financial goals, so I thought, this is done. Um, I'll, I'll never go. But because of Greg's GoFundMe and all these people who believe in my artwork and believe in me and believe in pushing forward, all these people from throughout the community, 
and communities, not just here in Sarasota, but all around. I'm, I'm going to Georgia. I'm going to Georgia. I'm going to this artist residency where I won't have to talk with people and um, I can recalibrate and think and work, do artwork. Rethink my portfolio, re rethink the way I paint. It's astonishing to me. It's a, it's astonishing to me that people care at all. So I want to say thank you, and I appreciate you. I sincerely appreciate you. And not only when I go there will I hope to make you proud of your investment and your belief in me and my artwork, but when I get back as well. When I get back, I have... Um, I hit, when I get back, we'll see what happens. I have a couple things planned, but always. Thank you. Always. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'm going to sleep now. Ciao.